What's up with you guys, man? It is your boy, West Coast, man, and we are here with the first annual Powerhouse. I call this the Powerhouse. Why? Because you have some of the biggest and most influential um, sports bloggers, cowboy bloggers to be exact, right here in this building, man. You probably have a little bit over probably about 120,000 followers represented in this building right now. So I'll go ahead and introduce myself, and then after I introduce myself, man, I'm going to let these other folks introduce them because you probably already follow them. I'm your boy, West Coast, man, by way of Dallas Cowboy Scouted. I'm Law Nation, LAW Nation. Just check it out. I'm DDP from the Dallas Prospect. My Cowboys family, myself, fiance. What is up? And I'm Bob's Cowboy, where your voice matters, and it always does. Yes. Hey. Voices for the voices. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So, man, let's jump right into it, man. Let's jump right into this thing, man. My Cowboys family, man, I'm going to be honest with you, man. My family went crazy when we heard that Zeke got, got signed, man. It sounded like Zeke didn't even know he was going to get signed, man. What was your, what was your, what, what was, what was like the, the tone of the people that follow you when they heard that Zeke got signed? What was the thought, man? I got to say, it was, it was, uh, I'd say 70 30, right? 70 30 Cowboy fans were all in on, on Zeke, and then there's 30% of the guys that they're like, they pay too much, what, he's ruining the season, he's, they're still upset with him. So, you know, that that's kind of like the, I guess, more or less the, the ratio out there. Listen, in the end, Jerry Jones could afford to pay all these guys. That whole pie thing, it's not about, about there's less pie, it's about how much less pie is there. And that's the way you structure contracts and guarantees. That's what matters. I have no fear about, about Zeke or Dak or Cooper because they're not going to sign Jalen Smith and Lyle Collins and not sign the other guys. Let's be real about that. So it's, just, it's negotiations. It's just the way it goes every year. You can watch Jerry Jones. He does it every single negotiation period. There's always something like that going on. It's always in the media. A lot of fans got crazy, got scared. I just think it was just what ex was expected, and it just just kind of that's what business is hey, here in the NFL. Hey, drum, drama sales. You know, being polite, do not sell. So that's just how it goes. Drama, do sell. So go ahead, DD, man. Pete, let them know. Man, I think it's a good signing just to get it get it situated and bring Zeke back into the fold. And I think the context that people are seeing, they're only looking at the six for 90. They're not necessarily taking the full context into account. The essentially that he still has the two years of his rookie deal. So it's really more like eight for 103. But even then, even then, not only does that make it only like 11 something a year for about 12, about basically the levy on deal at that point. You have that, but then you also have the fact that because it's the 50 million guaranteed and it's front loaded, if it's not, whether it's a mileage issue or anything like that, there are outs for the team well beyond the eight-year parameter if they're looking at that. So it's not as bad as it looks, but it allows both sides to basically say they won. Yes, indeed. So both sides won. They, they did exactly what Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones said. They're not going to reset the market. They just extended the market. Remember this, uh, West Coast. That's the point. The, what is it, the offensive line, they signed for those long extensions? We don't want a team that do that, right? Yeah. And then what they can do with those long extensions is go back in. Remember, the salary cap is an imaginary number. They can always go in and extend somebody, sign a roster boner here, move this guy over here, cut this guy, and extend it. So I just never look at it that we got $20 million left in the cap. We can still sign Dak Prescott. We can still sign Amari Cooper. We can still sign a Byron Jones. And don't forget about this. This is my Lee Collins contract year. We can still sign him as well. That's all I have to say on this contract negotiation for the nation. And that's actually a good point because you actually brought up um, this, you actually brought up about Dak Prescott. Don't you think it's I mean, don't you think it's weird that you want to talk about signing someone a day before a game like <laughs> I mean, I think it's a little weird that the Dallas Cowboys allowed it to get to this point because with Ezekiel Elliott's contract signing, even though there's a few fans that aren't too happy with the guarantees, uh, even though Dallas Cowboys prospect, a few of you guys already mentioned, you know, both sides are winning here. The Cowboys can walk away from this if we need to, but Zeke is still getting paid what he should be getting paid for the value that he gave us. The biggest thing is, honestly, it's just done. You know, the holdout affects a team in a different way, and I'm just glad that it didn't affect this team worse than it did. You know, it seems like good vibes from Zeke and stuff and all the players and the front office is just really coming together. So I just want to see Dak signed. And I'm a little concerned that the front office hasn't gotten it done because they obviously have their priorities in place. But our quarterback seems to be a pretty high priority. Also, for the 100,000 people that's watching it, I do also want to let you know that this is brought to you by Lava Cantina. They make this possible by giving us access to a location where we can actually do an impromptu show. But to talk about Zeke, and when you talk about that, one of the things that you have to think about, because I actually just wrote an article about this. As I said, don't laugh. It might not be funny. You might not laugh at all. 
but I call the Dallas Cowboys the Kim Kardashian of pro football. True. And, and we really are. I don't think you're wrong. Yeah. And, and that's also not saying it in a bad way at all. It's not a bad thing because she's a genius. She has no talent, right? But yet she's famous for being famous and know how to market it. Yeah. And so it's the exact same thing that's going on with the Dallas Cowboys. We're not the team that's not going to air out our dirty laundry because that's what keeps us relevant. That's what keeps Jerry wealthy. He loves both. So what happened with the Zeke situation is because we made a private matter public, it involved our fans, embarrassed some of the fans because they, they chose a side. But that's what's going to happen with Jerry. And so the faster we understand that, the faster we can digest this and get over the emotional letdown or the emotional highs of the Zeke signing. So it's one of those situations to where, like, what you say? What's your name again? Beyonce, MCL. <laughs> Beyonce, CL. Well said. It's on. He, we have an asset, and that's the most important thing that I think the most well-rounded way to put it. It's over. We have our biggest asset on offense, and it's time to rock. Exactly. I think so there's right. no the reason to be mad. Really. will settle, I think, once we get a little more settled, but they're still very fresh. because I don't just even not. think Spinner's going to settle, honestly, because <laughs> I want the people to just understand this is how we do business yeah, so they can settle. Yes. If they understand that, it will settle. But the way Jerry played, because look at all the stuff he said about Zeke. We don't need a Russian champion. We're not going to pay all these people market value. All the stuff he put out in the public, Geared up all us like, yeah. okay, stand for, stand up for us, stand up oh, for the Cowboys, yeah. Jerry, yeah. go. And it was just all, like you said, all right. negotiations, all, for the all back and forth. Yeah. And it was all just Kardashian PR. Yeah. And it, it works for Jerry. And it works for the Kardashians. And it works for the Kardashians. Yeah. Yeah. For the Kardashians. Yeah. So the fact that it, I think once we get people to kind of digest that piece of meat, then I think we'll get our emotions out of it. Yeah, and I was actually listening to an interview this past weekend, and um, it was a it was a it was a piece that was supposed to be nothing about the Dallas Cowboys, but it was it was about Jerry Jones, and they were talking, they were interviewing Jerry Jones, and Jerry Jones kind of kind of gave back on, he was kind of talking about on his past of like the people who have taught him information, and he said that one of the people who mentored him when he first got the Dallas Cowboys told him that there's no way you can mess this up. Why? Because you're right in front of the flow of money, and you're in a city that always produces news. Find a way to always be the top front page, yeah. and you're always going to get paid. So it's like, I think Jerry Jones actually has created a model that the NFL is now learning, and that is it's Dallas Cowboys every single day. It doesn't matter if it's regular season, out of season, it does not matter. And that's why now that's why now you have to wait till 6 p.m. Central time to, to get a schedule release. I remember we used to get the schedule how? Because somebody at your school or someone just had it in their email or something. Like you just, nobody really knew how it came out. But you got it. Now everything now, is... alarms and notifications waiting for the schedule. Exactly. But hey, before we get out of here, man, before we get out of here, I want to just go around a real quick round table real quick. I want to ask each person one question. Does Dak Prescott get paid this year? And if he does, what is your number? Start with you, DDP. I think Dak does get paid this year. Uh, I think it's crazy that it's drawn out to this extent, which Fiance pointed out earlier. I don't think it happens before the Giants game, but I do think we see it in the first couple weeks of yeah. the season. And as far as how much, I think it's going to be a smidge more than Wentz and even golf. I think we're looking somewhere around right around $34 million a year, which gives him that big number he wants. doesn't make him the highest paid, but it definitely gives him a bigger contract than someone like Wentz, who he is matched or better across the board. Uh, my number is 100. I think golf got... 110. 110 guaranteed. 112. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're doing. Like, that's what they're doing. That's what they should have did with Zeke, man. Like, they should have came with Zeke. Gurley has 14.6. 15. Call it a day and be done with it. So I love it. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm actually a Dallas Cowboy prospect here. I don't know why it took this long to get here. I would love it if, as soon as the video is over, the first thing we hear is that Dak Prescott is signed. I do think, I agree with uh, West Coast here, it's whatever Goff got, it's going to be just enough, a little bit more than what he got. It'll break down to around $34 million. But the biggest part of this, I think, is going to be, again, the terms. How long are we going to do it, and when is it going to get done? I think it's too much of a risk for us, for the Dallas Cowboys, to risk their future by not signing Dak Prescott before week one. And I really would like to see it get done before the Giants game. But if Dak wants to increase his price by balling out, go for it. Once again, shout out to Lava continue for giving us this access. And uh, another thing I would say about the Zeke signing and the timing and the amount, 
I don't think it's going to be before tomorrow, for sure, which is a game. I think it's going to, like you said, I think it's going to go right into week two. What's your name again? DDP. DDP. So, I think that's it's, it's going to go into week two. And I think the amount is going to be slightly over wins in the APY, maybe slightly under golf in terms of the APY, so around 33. But I think the number that's going to shatter the record, because the, the agent always has to have a record behind their name. It's going to be, I think what West Coast said, the guarantee is going to be around 112. Because that's the record that also makes the most sense for that. Yeah. Because he's the most durable. So why are you paying all the guys that miss games in these three years and the guy that hasn't missed a game? That's the number that we all should feel the most certain about about Dak is guaranteeing him because he also guarantees us that he can play. I mean, I, I echo everything they're saying pretty much. I mean, uh, it's not. I don't think it's going to get done before the game tomorrow, it just seems almost rushed. And I think Zeke's contract kind of kind of displaced his his deal, but probably would've been done already for the Zeke situation, but it is business, right? So it, it goes all sides. I think that Dak, who doesn't have a Super Bowl, Super Bowl appearance, like Jared Goff, but he had, you know, Goff had a, a coach in his ear, 12 seconds on the, on the play clock. And then you have someone like Wentz, who halfway got him to the, to the, to the playoffs, and then, or to, you know, got him in the playoffs, but then Foles took him to, all the way to the end. Dak has the most wins. Dak has the intangibles you cannot teach. And so Dak is worth every penny. I think I think I agree with uh, what was the name of the oh, Yeah, so I, I agree 100 percent that that um, he's going to get the guarantees, like you guys said, probably just right over 111, 112. I don't, don't want to yeah. go into the details, but I think it's just a hair over. Yeah. And I, I like what you're saying about in between Goff and Wentz. I just don't think that. I, I, that's what I thought last night, literally. But I do think that Dak is going to try to push. I heard he's asking for 36 a year. I'm, I'm more with DPP, the, uh, DDP here about the. Uh, um, about the, the, the average per year yeah. situation and, and more on that in that in that, in that, that he should yeah. end up a little over uh, and, golf yeah, and wins. Yeah, like I do think it's that's not even the, the most important of this deal is how long it is, like you said, baby. And of course, you know the guarantees and and the, how they manage the structure, how they how they push the guarantees around, and kind of like a puzzle piece for not just this year but for the next five years, let's say or six years. How you how you put those pieces together, structure. how you structure it together, that is the key. And the Cowboys can get all these guys if they want Byron Jones, they can get Byron Jones. Sounds good. Well, hey, man, we appreciate you guys for tuning in. We're going to make sure this is shown on all platforms, man. This has been the powerhouse, man, and we appreciate you guys for tuning in. You guys already know what it is, man. Never look down because the star is up. Go ahead and sum with y'all slowly. Guys, go sub it up to every single person here. But you know the number one thing why we do what we do here. Go, go